What's going on guys? Today they've done a Warriors Den livestream of For Honor, and with it, they've announced Season 3 Grudge and Glory. I thought it was going to be Wild and Glory, but hey ho, you win some, you lose some. Grudge and Glory, I don't know, doesn't sound as good as Wild and Glory, but that's my own personal taste. Anyway, what I'm going to do is show off the two new heroes in this video, and quickly go over mainly just what they are, a few things like that, have a little bit of a discussion as we ready ourselves for them arriving on the 15th of August for Season Pass holders only. So if you haven't got a Season Pass, go get one. So we are going to kick things off with the Gladiator as that is the one I am most personally excited for. Now my notes here aren't fantastic, I was a bit like a high school student. I was half watching, half paying attention, half wondering what chat was doing. So there's a few things I missed, a few things I got, so let's cover them. Firstly, Gladiator, Knight Assassin. I did not see that coming. In my video, which I'd done the speculation, I thought he would have been a heavy character. But no, he's an assassin. So that means that he will most definitely have the deflect option available. And this goes well with his tiny little shield. It looks like you could probably get a deflect in followed up with a hit. You're not too sure. He can puncture opponents, punch opponents as well. Stun, getting attacks, he's fast. So some people were saying Centurion 2.0, but the dev said he plays vastly different to the Centurion. Which is good. No one really wants a Centurion 2.0, but hey ho. So he's got a large stamina pool, okay? And he's got quick regen with his stamina as well. It's pretty nice as well. And he's also got a few gap closers. And they've also said he has aquatic themed gear. So I also got that somewhat right when I said that he is a combination of the Ritare and the Muriel. Which were, I probably pronounced those wrong and misinterpreted them to all the Spartacus fans out there. But those are the two gladiators who were named like one was a net man and one was a fish man. Anyway, so let's go into what he actually can do within these videos. So I've slowed it down for us. As you can see, he has a lunge attack, a bit like the Valkyrie. There he dodges, and he follows up with a punch from the shield. So he's got a dodge attack. There's a good punch. And then this here is where the execution starts. I believe this is his execution. As we can see, the Berserk is not holding his axes, which is basically a clear sign that you're being executed. You drop your weapon and stuff. So once again, we've got the lunge attack. We've got the side attack. Nice punch in the shield. That could probably stun. I think that might be a nice added touch. And there it follows on into the execution. That looks like a quite nice execution, but not as good as the Highlanders. I'm going to play this just once more, and then after that we will go on into the Highlanders. So I'll see you guys then. So here we have the Highlander. He is a Viking hybrid, which I called right, and he switches between a defensive form for counter-attacking and trading blows, and an offensive form where he has unblockable heavies. And apparently you can tell which one's which, is because he is dragging his sword behind him in an offensive form, and when he is on his counter-offensive form, or his defensive form, whatever you really want to call it, he apparently is holding the sword, if I remember correctly, may have got that wrong. Someone please put in the comments down below what they clarified, as I don't really want to be wrong and have an angry swarm of people with pitchforks after me. Or tridents in this case. Anyway, so he wields a claymore. I call that right. Uh, which is going to be the heaviest sword in the game. Right? Which is probably where, you know, his offensive capabilities, he's going to hit really hard and they did say he is quite hard to master very powerful few people are wondering how is he going to switch stances can he do it on the fly does he have to be out of combat i'm going to call it right now i reckon he can switch stance in combat i think having to come out of combat to switch stances is going to ruin the flow of battle so he will be able to switch stances in combat that is going to make it really interesting and really hard to predict a uh, good Highlander. You know? And also to become a good Highlander, you're going to need to know when to use these stances. 
Unless the turtle man, uh, still carries on, in which case, hey, just go counter fence. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go show the clip once again in slow motion, and we'll go over everything in there. So here we go. Here's the Highlander doing his dodge, looking pretty badass, rocking that mohawk and blue face paint, and the kilt. Can't forget the kilt. Grabs the Lawbringer. Now, I don't reckon this is the execution. You'll see here, it almost looks as if he throws and then does the execute. Okay? There we go. Execution. Takes off the arm. Fuck, that's got to hurt. And then he does a reverse King Arthur by putting the sword into the Lawbringer. Instead of taking it out of a stone. Looks nasty. So here it is again. And what I'm going to do is, for this one, I'm going to zoom up on the throw. So he does the sides dodge. Grabs the Lawbringer. And as he throws him, right, you can see the Lawbringer, he's still holding his poleaxe. It's quite bad quality, so I'll have this go again. But he does throw the Lawbringer, and with that throw, the Lawbringer is holding the poleaxe. I've said that enough times. Anyway, with that, I reckon this is a move of his kit. So, could it be that after a successful dodge, in offensive form, you can throw someone, and they will go down to the ground? Because we can see here during the fight, he is dragging the sword. I mean, this could just be very good editing, but at the start, he is dragging that sword across the ground. This means he is in the offensive form, right? So that's my theory. I feel in the offensive form, if you dodge, you get a good guard break, you can toss someone down to the ground. Not toss them off, but you can toss them down to the ground. Anyway, guys... I'm going to let these play for a little bit longer. These are my personal views of what I think is going to be happening with the new heroes. I mean, I know it's only a small video. I know this is, well, basically it's nothing really. It's just a small clip. But I like this because this is giving us a sort of a glimpse into what these heroes are going to be capable of doing. So guys, I hope you got... Guys, I hope you guys... I don't know what's wrong with me today. Fuck it, I'm going to get myself a cup of tea after this video. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed watching the Warriors Den. If you did, right? If you did watch it, put in the comments down below what you think. Guys, if you watched the video and you think I'm wrong with what the heroes are doing, and if there's something else you reckon, put it in. Also, are you happy? Are you disappointed? Are you shocked? Like, I am very shocked that the Gladiator is an assassin, but the more I'm thinking about it, the more it's starting to make sense. So, yeah. Anyway... I will leave you off with those two videos. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you love our content, how about you hit that subscribe button and become absolutely awesome. Guys, I've been Jagira. All of you have been amazing for watching. I'll see you all next time. Take care and bye-bye.